Hey there, welcome to Slarity Technology. Today I wanted to do a buyer's guide for RGB strips. I have, you know, quite a bit of content on my channel right now, but I really don't have anything that goes into a lot of detail about RGB strips, and there's a lot of them out there. So when I first got into RGB, you know, I started looking for RGB strips, and then I saw these different acronyms, and it, and it was kind of confusing for me at first. So I kind of figured it out and I kind of want to explain it to others. So um, you basically have um, two different types of uh, um, RGB technology when it comes to computers. You have um, you have analog RGB, which uses four pins and 12 volts. And then you have digital, which uses um, five volts and it also is um, uses three connectors. Um, they're basically kind of the similar, um, the, the similar LEDs, but the difference is, is this one actually has a little um, a chip embedded into it, and you can see the difference between there. And the digital signal goes to the chip, and the chip actually controls the um, the diodes with inside the surface-mounted device. Which is another thing when you go to Google these devices or RGB, you see um, you know 5050, you see SMD, and SMD all it stands for surface-mounted device or um, another term for a surface mounted technology and all that means is that these little devices everything you see on here is mounted um, to this device um, on the surface compared to through hole technology where you have a bunch of holes and you put the component through holes and you solder it on the other side these are just um, they apply uh, some paste um, solder paste and they just uh, plant the, the component on top of it and send it through a, um, a reflow oven and it just reflows the, the solder paste and it sticks to it. So different process is actually quite a bit easier, but um, you're gonna see SMD and that's what it means. And then there's also 5050. People are like, oh, I want 5050 LEDs. Well, 5050 just refers to the package size, which is roughly, um, let me reset this, which is roughly five millimeters by five millimeters. So that's, that's what 5050 means. And it's not, this one's not going to be completely accurate, um, and I guess nominal size or whatever. Um, so these are both, these are both 50-50 LED packages, but one's digital, the other one's analog. Um, and these use 12 volt, these use 5 volt. So um, this is, these are kind of, as you can see, I have different strips right here. These are kind of generic that you can buy off AliExpress or off of uh, Amazon, and this is a um, a Corsair strip, and some people call these proprietary fittings. And I actually have a video that goes into detail that these are actually not proprietary. These are called SL Molex connector with three pins, so they have 2.54 millimeter uh, pin pitch, and these are not proprietary. And um, uh, one of the advantages that you get with um, like kind of it with not all but a couple. I know Corsair and I think maybe Fantex uses it. You'd have to have to double check on that one. But um, they actually have magnets embedded on the side of the... So these are great for cases. Um, but they can be a bit pricey if you want to do like ambient lighting like around your computer. So I, I love these for my case because you can just... If you don't like where it's placed, you can put it somewhere else. And to be honest, this, um, this adhesive really sucks. I mean... You can try, like, you know, clean it with rubbing alcohol, but, you know, it's, it might not always stick. So, um, there's also different, um, a lot of other acronyms. So you, you have, and different things you can look out for. So, for example, this Corsair strip has a, um, a protective coating on it, like kind of, that gives a waterproofing, an IPC rating. These don't. I actually prefer, um, the non-coated ones so I can easily cut them and, uh, modify them as needed. Um, the, as I said, these have SL Molex. Um, the the digital RGB that you can buy um, from Amazon comes with what's called um, a JST style connector. Um, that's a company name. I don't know. Can't tell you the right name off the top of my head. But um, yeah, so they come with connectors that look like this, and uh, they're they're keyed and I like them. So these are what generic strips come come like. Um, if you were to get like a Corsair one, you can see it like this, or um, some of the 
RGB RGB devices for computers have a come in with like a connector that looks like this. Let's see if we can get in there. Yeah, so it's basically a, a four pin wide, but only has three connectors. So that way you can't reverse the polarity. But the problem with these is, you know, they're just um, uh, held in place by friction. You know, if you're wire managing, they can come loose. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of these. I usually have to um, wrap some electrical tape to get them to hold. Same thing with these. I mean, these are basically the same connector and all. Asus and all the other companies did was just um, block one of the pins, so it kind of keys it. So I want to I want to talk about some of these um, RGB devices. So you can get them in different pitches. So the distance between each LED, for example, um, they can differ. You can see th these Corsair ones. Um, this has I think it was 60 LEDs per meter. I think this has by or this is 30, I think this is 60, I forget. Um, but as you can see, you can get, get them in different, uh, um, basically different, um, now let's check this one. So, yes, yeah, it's the same one. I think this is 60. 60 LEDs per meter. And, um, let's see, so, we also have um, we also have your f 5 volt digital, which this is 5 volt, and then I kind of got bored and uh, bought some 12 volt um, uh, strips. And all these really are is um, just your standard 12 volt analog LEDs, and they put a WS2811 um, IC right here. So if you can see, there's actually a chip on the. Let's see, come on, focus. You can do it. Come on. Okay, so there's a little chip right there. And this is different than the uh, standard um, digital strips, which have a which have a little IC integrated into each device. So uh, the, the only advantage to the 12 volt is um, you can have a lot more of them on a uh, on a strip um, because um, each each LED is going to take less current but you know for the most part only gigabyte supports the ability to switch between 5 and 12 volts for the RGB um, digital but um, I just say stick with the 5 volt um, and you can even like you know I made a connector here for for mine where I'm using a, a SL Molex to JST so I can connect um, you know, generic strips if I wanted to, to um, Corsair IQ, which I still think is the best software out there. Yes, I'm a shill for them. <laughs> and then you have your analog strips right here. You just cut them wherever you see a little cut mark right here. And you really want to get them, you want to make sure they're 12, or 12 volt GRB. So on these strips, it says that 12 volt GRB, even though it's RGB, it's basically, um, most of the computers I know out there use um, 12 volt green, red, then blue. And um, some software does allow you the ability to calibrate where you can s switch the colors around if you get the wrong strip. Um, actually, I think this one is actually um, wired improperly. This is the strip I got. Um, this one's actually wired improperly. Um, but um, one cool thing about these is uh, the analog are, are kind of the most standardized. Um, you can buy these little solderless connectors and all you do is you just uh, open this up and you can just slide this underneath depending on what side it is. And I'll make a... This one has been used quite a bit so it's not going to go in as easy as I want. So it's generally meant to be... strip itself is it's not the most really not meant to be plugged and unplugged from this so you can just stick it in like that then you close this down and it holds it down I mean these there's these work all right and then pretty much everything with um, analog RGB is female except for these couplers so just plug it in like that and then you just plug it into the board if you want oops as I drop it So, um, 
Uh, so, so I mean, analog's great. They're cheap. Um, you can put a lot of LEDs because they run at 12 volt. Um, so the same current, um, the, the same current for 5 volt versus 12 volt, you can get a lot more LEDs on a 12 volt. So that's one nice thing about um, if you want to do a like kind of a 12 volt analog um, ambient lighting. But in my my room, I have a um, I have a five volt because oops, there goes one. So um, that's kind of all I have to say about that. I mean, I, strips are you know they, they can be kind of a little scary at first, but I mean, all you're just dealing with is um, digital or analog, twelve volt or five volt. The pitch, which is spacing between the LEDs, and um, Hey, then you have all the confusing SMD and 5050, but I already told you what that is. So if you have any more questions, I mean, I'm th doing this all off the cuff and wanted to throw this one together. Um, feel free to comment. Um, also, it would be great if you want to subscribe, if you want to hear more content like this. I'm always trying to figure out, you know, what um, answers I can come up for people's questions and videos so I don't have to keep repeating myself on Reddit or forums and whatnot. Well, thank you anyway for your time.